Welcome back. Am I the only person whose attitude changes with a fresh manicure? If you're like me and looking for some fun nail inspo, Candace Knights is here to deliver. Candace, welcome. Can you tell us about what is hot in nail trends for the summer? I'd be happy to. So, people right now are really getting creative with their nails, whether it's with color or embellishments. They're creating these really fun looks. And it's pretty much a fashion accessory at this point. I agree with that 100%. And, and I'm excited about that because it's just another way to show your personality. So I can't wait to hear about these trends. Let's start with the first one. What have you got for us? Absolutely. So we have our embellished euphoria nails. So this show has inspired makeup looks, clothing, and now we're seeing it on the nails. So typically with this look, we have a neutral or a nude base, and then we'll layer it with some rhinestones. They might be clear rhinestones, colored rhinestones, and then of course, some little pearls, following that pearl core trend as well. So these embellishments might be a little bit tricky to work with, so I recommend using tweezers if you're going to apply them to your nails at home, or you can also use a nail art tool specifically designed for rhinestones. Or you could even use a pencil, put a little sticky tack at the end and pick up the gems that way. Oh, those are great tips, actually. I would have never thought of that using a pencil. Mm -hmm. Okay, your next trend, uh, Candice, super feminine and flirty. Tell us about it. Yep, so we got fun, colorful florals. So this is a trend that we're definitely gonna be seeing this summer. And it's more of like this 70s retro vibe. So you can recreate it very simply with just a bobby pin. So you're just gonna want to do a little bit of a dab on a dot on each flower to create that shape. And then you're gonna use a dotting tool as well if you prefer. So you can purchase that at your department store, at your local beauty supply. I love this one for summer, it is so cute. You know what, it is so cute. And I love the fact that, you know, we've sort of loosened off the rules when it comes to your nails. Every single one can have a different pattern on. You can do all different colors, but in the same color family. I, I love the freedom that we're having with our nails right now. Even the press-ons that I got from the drugstore, you know, you can have some fun with them. Okay, so your next one's really interesting. They're called jelly nails, which sounds awesome. What are they? Yes, so jelly nails. Now we're seeing this more and more on social media. It's not a new trend, but it is one that pops up more and more year after year. So basically what it is, it creates this squishy glass-like look on the nails. So it's also very glossy. And how you create this is using nail polish that has a jelly-like consistency. So we have a few selections here, lots of bright colors. They are just perfect for summer. So you apply them, you can layer the colors together to create different looks. You can add a shimmery topper or top coat to add some dimension. And what we've been seeing on TikTok is people are actually creating their own jelly nail polish type texture by mixing a clear nail polish and adding a little bit of color. If you wanna try and do a little DIY at home, and you're not quite ready to maybe commit to purchasing a jelly nail polish. Oh, that's good. Okay, so there's an easy way to sort of DIY it, mm -hmm. which is cool. Now you're talking about a, a trend we can try no matter the manicure style. So what trend is that, Candace? Yes, so the next trend we have is the Manny Jewelry Selfie. So when we get our fresh manicure, we get a fresh set, we want to show it off. So now we're taking photos of our full hand, and then we have a little bit of bling in the form of rings. So I love me some gold rings. So I've got a few here. So I create this stacked look. Oh my gosh, it is so popular now. It's like in every photo. So I'm just gonna show you how, a little bit how that looks. So you're gonna just get an assortment of rings, different sizes, start with the bigger one first. You really can do a little or a lot. So with this finger, I'm literally just gonna do the index finger. And it just creates this really elevated look and I just love it. And then I'm gonna go on with the next finger. I'm gonna start with the bigger one and then I have a little bit of a smaller ring here as well. And then I'm just gonna put a few more on this hand. 
Because and more just, is more. You just yes. stack and stack and stack <laughs> and have some fun with them, right? Yes. That's the whole point. So this is the final look. And it just, oh, I just love how this looks with your fresh manicure. So you got the rings, you got the fresh manicure, you're good to go. I love that. Okay, lastly, French tips aren't going anywhere. They've been around forever. It's a classic. So how are we rocking them this summer? Oh, yes, definitely a classic. So instead of the white tips, we're now opting for alternating colors. And that's creating a Skittle-like effect. So you can use really bright colors. You don't have to commit to one color. You can pick five and then use them all if you want. So I recreated a design here. I love all five of them. So I was like, okay, let's try them all on one hand. So you can go into the nail salon and ask for this look, or you can try it at home yourself with just the nail polish brush. You can also use um, a small detail brush as well to get those tips colored. Very cool. So many different ways that you can have fun nails at home. Thank you so much for that, Candace.